during the lockdown, the demand has been crazy over the last year in terms of people looking for animals. We're coming out of lockdown and uh, life is going back to what we would call probably a new normal. There is going to be a change in people's lifestyles. Potentially, we expect a high amount of animals to be surrendered in the, in the coming months. Unfortunately, we do see a number of animals that come through our doors. Very sad cases indeed. She was just lying in her bed. She barely looked up at us. She just looked so defeated in her eyes and she was so heavily pregnant. Her belly was practically touching the ground. I guess I started fostering when I started studying veterinary. Once I started working in the USPCA and they had loads of stray animals coming in, if any of them needed a bit of extra care, I'd bring them home. That was when June came in. We suspected that she was going to go into labour over the weekend. So we had decided that it would be better if she came home with me so I could keep an eye on her. Once the week started, I knew there was something wrong. She had a tumour and we had to carry out a C-section and unfortunately the puppies had passed away at that stage. I just felt so sorry for it. For the first week, she just wouldn't get out of her bed at all. She, we had to bring her food in her bed and like help her to go out to the bathroom and I was really worried about her. After about six, seven days, she eventually, you'd walk in and she'd be like standing up, wagging her tail when you walked into the kitchen and then slowly just started following us everywhere, like out around the garden and playing with our other dogs. Then she just turned into a puppy again after that and it was, it was really beautiful to see that, like. <laughs> to see her with her new foster brother, like to know that you took her from a very defeated dog to a dog that's going to be a really great pet for somebody is really, really nice.